We're back. Welcome to a new series, man. I guess we're squatting every day. Bulgarian style. If you guys don't know about it, Bulgarians were a weightlifting dynasty. Um, and they kind of popularized, or at least powerlifting, kind of copied some of their stuff where um, really, really high frequency, really high intensity, and actually lower volumes. Where I actually think that's an issue of some powerlifting coaches in programming now is people don't balance that. And so they're trying to get like the best of both worlds where they're like really high frequency, right? Squatting three, four, five, six times a week, high intensity. So they're handling heavy singles, RPE eights or nines year round. And then they're handling a bunch of back down volume, you know, four by sevens, et cetera, et cetera. Where we need to manipulate some of those for longevity. We can't do all of them all the time. So when I squat every day, um, like the Bulgarians, I'm gonna switch variations. I'm probably just gonna hand, handle like one set a day. I just don't care enough. Like my quads have shrunk, but I, I just don't really like train legs like that. <laughs> I never have because my legs grow a lot. And so I just wanna squat for fun. I wanna get my legs stronger and see what happens, you know, six months from now. If I wanna push into a deadlift or a new PR maybe, my best squat ever is still just 590. We're still dieting. I'm down to 204 today, 203. Um, so we got another 10 pounds to lose. And then the rest of the program is just uh, push-pull. So today we got a pull day, back and bicep. Tomorrow will be chest, shoulders, tries. Keeping it simple, back in the gym with the boys. Everybody's grinding, weather feels good. New shorts coming out. I don't know when this video is dropping, but stay tuned, 3sb.co. And I guarantee, Mike's personal guarantee, these are the best meshes on the, on the planet. Most comfortable, most functional, the best fit. I'm not just saying that, it's literally fact. I created them, it took me three years now to create these. We've put some out in the past and they were good. Don't get me wrong, our past versions were good. This new version is the best meshy in the game and that will ever be in the game. I don't just wanna make clothes, I wanna make the best functional, stylish, and most comfortable clothes. And I stand my name on it. Let's train. Caffeinating. I don't know why it is. I'm not that tall. Maybe I got big traps, but like all the homies that are about my height, Seabass. Actually, we haven't squatted together that much, but probably. Riley, Bart, Bart. For some reason, they use a hella low squat rack. I use 14. They use like 15. Yeah. Maybe the heels. The heels play a small role, but I also don't want to like lift that shit up like 10 inches. You know? I just want to like clear it and. I also unrack like this, and some folks might unrack like this, you know, so that might make a difference. I unrack like that too, like close. So you put this on? So some of y'all, I get this question a lot, even though I feel like it's less popular, like West Side Conjugate Training. And West Side Conjugate Training, uh, popularized by Louis Simmons and West Side Barbell, basically took Russian methodologies which has like a lot of variations and a lot of moderate sub-maximal volume, kind of Shaco stuff. You guys are thinking about Shaco, if you ever run some of those programs. And then Bulgarian, which is super specific, super heavy, high frequency, uh, uh, high intensity, and he kind of tried to mesh those. Um, and so in like a West Side deal, you're, you're choosing, you have a real heavy day, max effort, and then you have a light day, a dynamic and you're choosing variations on each day. You're never gonna do the, the competition lift, you're doing a variation of that. And on one day, you're literally going to RPE 10, max single. And then on the other day, you're handling 50, 60%, some bands, some chains, and you're gonna do more Russian style. You're gonna do like 10 sets of three, as fast and as perfect as you can. So when I'm going Bulgarian, I'm gonna go variations on it, which actually isn't what the Bulgarians did. And again, this is all weightlifting transferred to powerlifting, so you can't like go tip for tat, it's not the same. Um, I mean, you can in some instances, but yeah, my real goal is just to find a groove. I can't handle the volume I used to handle. That's when my body starts to get a little angry on any lift. A lot of volume in bench, a lot of volume in deads. And don't say like, Mike, you're lifting wrong, or me too, like, man. Year round basketball, like 15 years, no breaks, 
And now I'm year 13, 14, year round powerlifting, no breaks. So like my body is just beat, you know? Um, so this is the best way for me personally to get strong. Very moderate, low volume, very high frequency. And I'm just hitting the groove, hitting the groove, hitting the groove. Feels good on my hips, feels good on the brain. I'll just push a little bit. Yeah, and, and I know when to hold back and stuff. Some of y'all crazy motherfuckers don't know how to hold back. So like I know, like all right, today in my head, I'll hit like RP seven or eight, you know? I'm not gonna go balls to the wall every day. And that's the real answer to coaching is, is some athletes don't know when to pull back and some athletes don't know when to push. And that's why you really, majority of folks do need a coach. Intensity, frequency, volume conversation. The truth is the sweet spot's probably in the middle for most people. Um, I'm not calling myself like a crazy outlier, but I've just trained every way. Trained Westside Conjugate for four years, strict under Westside principles, under guys that have been at Westside. I trained Shaco and I hung out with Shaco for weeks. I've trained Bulgarian with crazy high frequencies. I've kind of done it all and, and again, just because the wear and tear in my body and with my schedule and my lifestyle, the higher frequency intensity tends to work well for me. But even like Seabass behind the, the camera, like his coach has done a great job with him and they, they you know, they're kind of medium frequency to high frequency, moderate intensities, they're hitting a lot of RPE eights and stuff as they ramp up and pretty moderate volume. They're not doing 10 by sevens or anything crazy. They're doing, you know, and again, so, if one goes way up, if frequency goes way up, volume or intensity got to go down, one of them. You just can't have all three really high, and that's, that's most folks. So for me, that's what's rocking. My, my bodybuilding or my hypertrophy is slightly different. My intensity is through the roof, so I'm going like two failure as much as I can, and then my frequency is moderate, where I'm training most body parts two or three times a week, and then the volume's moderate. I'm doing one or two sets per exercise, three-ish exercises per body part, right? So it's much different than squatting every day, five sets of five, that shit ain't gonna rock. Lots of ways to get strong, programming is very complicated, it's more so getting a big old tool set and then applying those tools per the individual, per the program, so there's just a little rant on what I'm doing. Doesn't mean you gotta do it. A lot of times I'm just trying to have fun, people ask about my goals, I don't know if I'll ever step on the platform again, powerlifting competitions just aren't for me, but. I enjoy the barbell, I enjoy lifting weights, I enjoy the heat, I enjoy training, I enjoy becoming healthier and spreading you know, my message of strength through the barbell and different exercises. So that's what we're doing for now. It might only last two months, I don't know. I'm not saying I'm squatting every day for the rest of my life, but we're having fun with it now. We'll catch you in the next video. Be sure to give this thing a thumbs up. New videos every Tuesday, Thursday, appreciate y'all. 3SB.co.